using the TI Inspire CAS handheld. Video 1. Things to know before you start. Part 3. Using the history. So one of the huge advantages of working with a large screen calculator like these CAS calculator models or the equivalent non-CAS models is that you can very easily make use of your previous calculations and your previous answers. So for example, if I wanted if I'm performing a running calculation here and I wanted to take that previous answer I've calculated and then multiply it by 2, all I need to do is type um, sorry, multiplied by 2 and press enter and it understands that I wanted to multiply the previous answer by 2. Um, if however though you wanted to divide that answer into something, so if you wanted to do 100 divided by previous answer, you can't just do 100 divided by and press enter, it won't understand where to put the answer. So you can either press um, control negative and the negative symbol is the one next to the left of the enter so control negative you'll see it's got ANS above that that will bring up answer or the easier way to do it is to simply scroll up till the answer you're looking for is highlighted and press enter and it will be copied into the entry line um, in the at, at the end of that entry line and then enter to evaluate that so you can do that for any entry or for any um, so for any answer or any calculation. So I could scroll right back up here to this equation. I could press enter to copy it down into my entry line. And then I can very easily edit it and think, oh, actually, that was the equation I meant to calculate. Um, so it's very, very quick and easy to edit previous um, work. You can also use control C and control V as you would in a document. You can also highlight parts of an expression simply by pressing um, the across arrow so that the whole expression isn't highlighted. You've just got the cursor at the end of the line and then you can scroll along it and you can use shift in the same way that you would with a keyboard. So press the shift button which is above the 7 and hold it down while you then scroll across to highlight the section that you want. Control C and Control V if that's what you want um, and so that you can just then use part of that expression. 